We're so glad that you can join us this morning. Please turn to your neighbor and say, Aha, you're looking nice today. <laughs> that is now set the following time apart by turning off your cell phones or any 3C electronics that you have with you so there will be no hindrance between you and the Lord. Let us come in one accord, in one unity, and to worship our Father in heaven. And I'm going to invite you to a time of prayer now. Please pray for yourself, pray for your heart, pray for the message today, and above all, pray that the blood of Jesus Christ will cover us once again so we may enter into his throne of grace with confidence, with boldness. Would you bow with me and pray? Dear Father God, thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you for everything you've created, and thank you for everything you gave us, you give us. Lord, we come before you with grateful hearts. Because all the things you prepare for us, um, we don't deserve. But you called us your sons and daughters. Therefore, we worship you not only for all the things you have done for us, but because, of, but because you are God, you're the holy God, and you're God Almighty, and you're worth, you worthy of all the praises. Therefore, God, this morning, please help us to worship you with our clean hearts. Anything that will hinder us from you, between you and me, you and us, please remove them. Purify our hearts, because you are holy and you are pure and you deserve the best, and you de deserve all the best worships. Thank you, Lord, because the best things in the world is to worship you, and now we are here worshiping you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise be to you, Lord. Teach me your decrees. My soul is weary and sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. My comfort in, su in my suffering is this. Your promise preserves my life. All your words are true. All your righteous laws are internal. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome again. So glad to see you all this morning. Are you ready to worship and praise our awesome God this morning? Let us join our spring worship team to worship our God this morning. Good morning, church again. <laughs> It's so I'm so excited that we can praise and worship our God together. So could you all please, uh, I invite you all stand up and let's worship the God and with our all hearted to sing the holy, holy. Holy, holy. Trinity. 
Our God is an awesome God, isn't it? It is. So this morning, let us just turn to your friends and say, Our God is an awesome God. Let's pray, praise the Lord more powerfully. Use all your strengths to praise the Lord. Say to your neighbors, Let's praise the Lord. Okay. So that's um let's praise the Lord with our energy, okay? So let's do this with me. Use your hands and use your bodies. Let, let's praise the Lord. So do this. Okay. Clap your hands, but with um together. So that's like this are one, two, one, two, one, two. Are you ready? One, two. Our God is a awesome God. He runs from heaven above with wings. The power and love of God is a awesome Our God. God. Our God is a awesome God. He runs from heaven above with wings. The power and love of God is a awesome God. Once again, our God. Father God, we praise you today because you are awesome, God. Thank you, Lord, that we don't deserve anything you've done for us, but you still, you sent your sons, your only son for us, to die for us. Therefore, Lord, we want to thank you. I want to thank you and thank you again. I want to praise you. Because, Lord, you are great. And we don't, ha- we don't know how to describe the, great, the gratitude in our hearts. We don't know how to sing the best song or to the best worship that we can worship you. But we know that all you, all you want is our heart. So Lord, we, today, this morning, we come before you and we present you everything I have, everything we have. And we give you our lives. Because you deserve deserve the best worship and you deserve our lives you, you de- deserve all our hearts this morning we thank you Lord again for everything for you are the Lord and so we say, we say yes you are an awesome God we come before you and we all in all to you thank you Lord you're great this morning we want to say and to shout and to let the whole world know Yes, you are the great. Yes, you are the great Lord. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. The city of our God, the holy
earth is the great God. So let's sing again this song. And this time we sing to our Lord with a pray heart, prayerful heart. So just make the song a prayer for you, uh, for the Lord. Let's sing the song. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. The city of our God, the holy place. The joy of the whole world. Great is the Lord in whom we have the To lift your names, and Lord, we want to lift your name on high. And Lord, we want to thank you for the words you've done in our lives. And Lord, we want to give our family love for you alone, our God, is one of the earth and heaven above. Again, we lift your name on high. Jesus, you are the treasure I seek, and you are the only love I only trust in you. Lord, hope uh, may your kingdom come. May we can be your uh, every day. We can to follow your wills and to be your children of uh, your kingdom. To uh, make everyone to know you are. Here and everyone would uh, to be drawn in your love. Thank you for your love and your cross. Thank you in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. This is my desire. This is my desire.
our desire. This is my desire to honor God. To honor you, the wisdom of my heart, I worship you. you to close your eyes it's okay if you can't remember all the lyrics but it's the heart that matters let's sing and tell the Lord the desire the only desire we have we want we have is to honor him this is my desire this thanksgiving because we have breath so our lips will praise your name hallelujah thank you Jesus cover us you know in the Jesus in the blood of Jesus this morning so we can come before you thank you Jesus we pray that all that weary and burdened can come to you this morning and you will give them breath, give them rest. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The praise performance will also be given by the spring worship team and they will be uh, performing the gift of love.
Thank you for your wonderful performance, Spring Worship Team. And now it's time for um, scripture reading. So today's scripture is at um, two places: Matthew chapter five, verse four, and Second Corinthians chapter one, verse three to five. So let's turn your Bible with me. Matthew chapter five verse four. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Second Corinthians chapter one verse three to five. Verse three, praise to be to the God and Father and our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, and the God of all comfort. Who comfort us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. Chapter、uh, verse five. For just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into your lives, into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows.、Um, today's sermon will be given by Reverend Clark, and titled. Titled "The Healing Power of Grief," Part Two. Good morning to you. I can always hear Pastor Gal's voice very clearly. He has a strong voice. 我总是可以在人群当中很清楚听到高牧师的声音哦，因为他声音具有那个很独特的穿透力。Um, today I want to talk to you about healing. 
今天我想跟大家分享的主题是有关医治。And you know, when Jesus came into the world, important part of his ministry was healing. 当耶稣来到这世上的时候，他的事工有一个很重要的一部分，就是医治。And、uh, it says in the Bible, everywhere he went, he was followed by thousands of people. 圣经上面很清楚的告诉我们，不论耶稣往哪里去，他的身后总是跟随了成千上万的人。Uh, because, especially because of his great compassion and healing power. 特别是因为他生命充满了怜悯，充满了连续，而且他有一个很，他有一个医治的能力。Uh, we live in a world with a lot of suffering and sorrow. 我们居居住在世界当中，有许多的痛苦，有许多的苦难。And、uh, there's a lot of trouble in families today and conflicts. 即使在我们的家庭当中，有许多的冲突。And there's a lot of people that have deeper hurts in their heart, and the hurt does not go away. 而在我们许多人的心深呃内心深处呢，有很大的伤痛，而且这样的伤痛呢，却很难的去释放它。There are a lot of people that have deep sorrows, and the sorrow stays, and the sorrow does not go away. 这样子的伤痛在我们生命当中，而且很不容易的被挪去。So I wanted to ask you a question today. 所以今天我要提出一个问题。Uh, do you have deep sorrows in your heart today? 在你的生命当中，是否有这样子一个伤痛呢 ？And the sorrow is not going away. 而且这样的伤痛呢，却不会随风而逝。Uh, do you have a lot of hurt in your heart? 是否你生命当中有一些的伤害 ？And the hurt does not go away. 而这样的伤害也没有办法随风而逝。Well, I want to talk about healing for the heart. 所以，我们今天要讨论的就是我们内心的医治。And so this morning we started with a little scripture, Matthew five four. So today 早晨我们的经文呢是在马太福音第五章第四节 And、uh, it said,、uh, "Blessed are those who mourn." 它里面讲到哀痛的人有福了 If we have sorrows and hurts, God calls us blessed. 如果我们生命当中有悲痛有伤痛的话，神说你是有福的 He does not condemn us. He does not point his finger at us and say, "Why?" Are you sorrowing? He 并没有责骂我们说为什么你要难过，为什么你有伤痛呢 ？But he understands my heart. 他理解，他了解我们的心。Uh, God never condemns us when we belong to Him. 当我们属于他的时候呢，他并没有责骂我们。Uh, God always has great compassion for our heart. 神对我们有极大的怜悯。And so I said, "Blessed are those who mourn." And then there's a promise. 所以在经文当中，他说到。悲痛的人，哀痛的人有福了。然后接下来就有一个很好的应许。It's God's promise to you. 这是神对你的应许。It says you will be comforted. 他说，因为你们必得着安慰。Uh, sometimes we go through the most terrible sorrow and trouble. 有时候我们生命当中经历一些我们无法想象、无法言喻的一些伤痛。And、uh, then we say in our heart, we say nobody can help me. 我们内心里面也许会说。没有一个人可以帮助我们。Nobody can comfort me. 没有人可以安慰我。But I want to say that God is able to comfort you in every sorrow and every trouble. 但是我想要告诉你的是，不论你遭遇到什么样的苦难、什么样的伤痛，神他会必定的安慰你。I remember many years ago praying for a, a, a woman. 我记得在很多年前，我曾经为一个姐妹祷告。And uh, uh, her her husband had committed adultery. And then had left her. His husband had an affair, had an affair, and then left her. And divorced her. And then they were divorced. And then she had great sorrow, and the sorrow never went away. So her life had such a great pain, and such a great pain never went away. And so it was very difficult for her to get out of the situation. And so before I prayed for her, I said, "I believe God's going to comfort you." 所以在甚至在我为他祷告之前，我说神他必定会安慰你。And I gave her a verse, you know,、uh, Psalm 23:6. It says, "Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life." 然后我就跟他分享了诗篇当中，他说你一生一世必有恩惠慈爱随着你。It's God's promise. 这是神的应许。He said, "Goodness and mercy are going to follow you all the days of your life." 他说恩惠慈爱必一生一世随着你。And so. Uh, then I lay hands on this lady and I pray that God would、uh, bless her. So I put my hand on her head and I pray that God would comfort her in her great sorrow. 
然后神呢、啊、要安慰他，将生命当中极大的伤痛。And that the Lord would give back her joy. 然后神呢会给他喜乐。And then not two years later, I met her sister. 啊，大约两年多前呢，我遇到这位姐妹的姐姐。And、uh, her sister gave me a wonderful testimony. 然后她跟我分享了一个很棒很棒的见证。Uh, she said, "I was there, and I heard what you said when you prayed for my sister." 她说，当你在为我的妹妹祷告的时候，我正在旁边，我听见你为她的祝福。And she said, "I want you to know that since you prayed for my、uh, sister, God has totally turned her life around, and she found joy again." 然后说，科牧师，我想让你知道，是自从你为我的妹妹祷告之后，我妹妹的生命完完全全反转了。And God is really blessing her these days. 然后神。很大大来祝福这位姐妹。Now,、uh, I think an important part of healing is to go through the grieving process. 所以我认为在医治的这段过程当中，很重要的一个部分呢，是我们要感到悲痛。Uh, God has given us an emotion,、uh, and we call it grief. 神他有给我们情感，而这情感其中之一就是悲痛。And grief is an important part of finding healing. 而这个悲痛呢，是你要在寻找到医治。这个过程当中是非常不可或缺的一个部分。That's why we have this verse, Matthew five four. 所以因此我们有这一节的经文，马太福音第五章第四节。Because God encourages us to to give out our grieving, to to have sorrow. 因因为神他鼓励我们将我们的悲痛能够献上给神。And so then I believe there's three important parts of the grieving process and the healing process. 所以，我们我认为说，在悲痛在这样找到医治的的过程当中呢，有三个非常重要的步骤。The first part， 第一个部分。We need to identify. We need to understand the sorrow in our heart. 我们必须要能够认清，能够明白我们内心当中的伤痛。And we need to release it. 然后我们必须要能够释放出来。Now that sounds like a very simple thing. 这听起来是一个很简单、很单纯的事情。But actually, the truth is that many people have trouble to release their sorrow. 可是真相却是呢，有许许多多人他却没有办法将内心的悲痛能够释放出来。Uh, I've met people they cannot cry. 我曾经遇过有一些人，他们是没有办法流泪的。And,、uh, and so one reason we cannot release our sorrow. Is we have the bad habit of suppressing our sorrow all the time. 而我们无法去释放我们内心中的悲痛呢，是因为我们有一个很不好的习惯，就是我们不断的压抑我们内心中的悲伤。And so then,、uh, whenever we have a bad experience and we have sorrow, we try to push our emotion down and forget it. 所以，如果说我们生命当中遭遇到一些不好的经历，有些伤痛的时候，我们就试着把它压起来，压起来，然后把它悄悄的推到一边去。You know. We do not accept the sorrow. We kind of reject that sorrow. 我们并没有去接受这样子的伤痛，而是我们把它推到旁边去。It can be because we're ashamed to let people know that we're sorrowing or we're mourning. 或许是因为我们觉得，如果让人家知道我们有伤痛的话，我们会觉得很丢脸。Or it can be because we have denial. 或者是因为我们想要拒绝。And when we have denial, we say, "Well, I'm okay." 我们不愿意承认，我们说啊，我我很好啊，我都很好啊。Uh, uh, and we look at that person. We say, you know, don't you have sorrow? And they say, no, no, I'm okay, I'm fine. So we look at him. He says, 难道你没有觉得有点难过吗？啊，没有，没有，没有，我很好，非常，非常好。And it's a lie. They're not okay inside. They're deeply hurting. So this is a lie. Because we know that in his heart, he has a deep wound. It's just like I remember、uh, counseling another woman, and I was talking to her about her childhood. 就像我记得，我有一次在对呃对一个姐妹在咨商的时候，然后她讲到她的童年。And, and、uh, she had a mom and dad that were dysfunctional. They didn't know how to love her. 然后她生长在一个不健全的家庭当中，所以她的父母并不知道如何呃正确的去爱她。And and so uh, uh, she had a grandfather. He was very loving and. And she really loved her grandfather. 而她有一个非常慈祥的一个爷爷，然后这个爷爷跟她感情就非常的好。But、uh, when she was about nine years old, her grandfather suddenly died. 而当她九岁的时候呢，她的爷爷就突然的过世了。And so I said to her, "Well,、uh, when your grandfather died, you must have had a lot of sorrow." 所以我说，嗯，当你爷爷去世的时候，你生命你心里一定有很大的伤痛吧 ？And she said, "No, no, I was fine." 他说：“呃，没有啊，我很好啊
And so then I pointed at her and I said, "Well then, that sorrow is still in you. It's trapped in your heart." So I pointed at her and I said, "Well then, that sorrow is still in you. It's trapped in your heart." So I pointed at her and I said, "Well then, that sorrow is still in you." You you dealt with your sorrow by turning your emotion off. 你去处理这样伤痛的方法呢，是你把你的情感整个关掉了。And you did not give your heart a chance to heal. 你并没有给你的内心一个机会去得到这个医治。And、uh, when I said that, it was just like I took a gun and I shot her. Bang. <笑>就好像我拿出一把枪，然后我就射她一枪。And suddenly she just collapsed on the table. And she started crying and weeping, and she couldn't stop weeping. Then she just suddenly just collapsed on the table, and she started crying and weeping, and she couldn't stop weeping. Then she just suddenly just collapsed on the table, and she started crying and weeping, and she couldn't stop weeping. Then she just suddenly just collapsed on the table, and she started crying and weeping, and she couldn't stop weeping. Then she just suddenly just collapsed on the table, and she started crying and weeping, and she couldn't stop weeping. Then she just suddenly just collapsed on the table, and she started crying and weeping, and she couldn't stop weeping. Then she just suddenly just collapsed on the table, and she started crying and weeping, and she couldn't stop weeping. Then she just suddenly just collapsed on the table, and she started crying and weeping, and she couldn't stop weeping. Then she just suddenly just collapsed on the table, and she started crying and weeping, and she couldn't stop weeping. Then she just suddenly just collapsed on the table, and she started crying and weeping, and Uh, and, and so I don't know how old she must have been about fifty、uh, years old. She 可能当时已经五十岁了 So she she waited till she was fifty years old to finally release that sorrow. 所以她一直等到她自己五十岁的时候，她才把这样子的一个悲痛、这样伤痛去释放出来 And then, of course, that's the beginning of healing. 但是那个就是医治的开始。You see, an important reason why we are not healed is we suppress our our sorrow. We deny it. 一个很大的原因，我们生命中没有办法得到医治，是因为我们面对伤痛的时候，我们不断的压抑它，不断压抑它，然后我们拒绝不承认它。We will not openly express it. 我们没有办法公开、很表明的去表达我们自己的情感。So the first part of the grieving process, we must identify the sorrows and accept them. 所以在第一个部分，我们必须要了解的就是，我们必须要去认清、去明白这样子生命中的悲痛，然后我们要去释放这样子的悲伤。And of course, when we accept that sorrow, we're accepting we can accept great pain. 当然，当我们接受这样伤痛的时候，也许我们必须要再次的去接受那个生命当中巨大的伤痛。Uh, when my father died, it took me a, a, a year and a half to recover and, and to release all my sorrow. 当我的父亲过世的时候，我花了一年半的时间，去从那悲伤当中走出来，然后将我的悲痛完全的释放。So we identify that sorrow, then we release it. 所以我们必须要认清楚这样子的悲痛，然后我们必须要将这个悲伤能够呃释放。Second part of healing. 第二个医治的部分。Usually, there's somebody we need to forgive. 通常在这样的情况当中呢，有一个人或一些人是我们必须要去饶恕的。If you cannot find healing, then I'm saying there's somebody you need to forgive. 如果你没有办法找到医治的话，我会告诉你说，那表示有一个人你需要去原谅他。I'm saying in your heart is a hidden root of bitterness. 我在我所说的意思是说，在你内心当中呢，有一个苦毒的根源。Because the second great thing that keeps us from finding healing in our heart is a root of bitterness in our heart. 这第二个部分讲到，我们没有办法在生命当中得到完全医治，就是因为我们内心中有这样子一个苦毒的根。And so then we need to be honest with ourselves. 所以我们必须要很诚实的面对自己。We need to examine our heart. 我们必须要审查我们自己的内心。We need to ask God to send the Holy Spirit to give us new understanding. 我们必须要恳求圣灵将那至启示的灵赏赐给我们。The Holy Spirit wants to help us to understand our own heart. Because the Holy Spirit is our comforter. Because the Holy Spirit is our comforter. How does He comfort me? How does He comfort me? He comforts me by helping me to understand my heart. He helps 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 me to understand my heart. And he reveals to us the hidden roots of bitterness in our heart. 而且他也在我们内心当中那苦毒的根能够彰显出来。We cannot find healing until we identify those hidden roots of bitterness. 我们没有办法找到医治，没有办法获得医治哦，直到我们去认清了这些苦毒的根源。Then we have to confess them as a sin to God. 然后我们要认罪，然后将它献上给神。If I have bitterness in my heart, that's unforgiveness. 
如果我内心当中有这样苦读的根的话，那是不原谅、不饶恕。And, and it can be that the person that we are angry with is ourselves. 也许我们所不能原谅的人是我们自己。And、sometimes we have written, hidden roots of bitterness against our own self. 有的时候我们苦读的根源呢，其实是我们自己。We don't accept ourselves. 我们不接受我们自己。Do you have low self-esteem? 是不是你有很低的自尊呢？ If you have low self-esteem, I'm going to say you have a hidden root of bitterness in your heart. 如果你的自尊不是很很高很健全的话，我会说你的生命当中有这样子一个苦读的根。Against yourself. 而且是在你自己身上。And the person that you're not accepting is you. 你没有办法接受、没有办法面对的人就是你自己。And God wants to teach you to accept you, just yourself, just the way you are. 而上帝他想要教导你，就是去接受你自己原来的本相。Because that's the way God loves us. 因为这就是神他以我们的本相来爱我们。And so we need to identify our hidden roots of bitterness and confess them to God. 所以我们必须要去认清、去明白我们生命当中苦读的根，而且将这个献上给神，向他认罪。And pray and ask God to help us forgive. 然后我们要祷告，求神帮助我们去饶恕、去原谅。Then the third thing we need to do. 好，第三个部分我们需要做的。We need to build new loving relationships in our life. 我们必须要去建立一个新的亲密的在爱里面的关系。What is the great thing that brings healing? I'm sorry. What is the great key or the important thing that brings healing in life? 呃，一个很重要的一个元素能够在我们生命当中带来医治是什么呢 ？It's love. 就是爱。It's love. 就是爱。If you cannot find healing and your hurt and sorrow goes on and on, that means you're not finding love in your life. 如果你的生命当中那个苦毒、那个那个悲痛没有办法过去的话，那表示你生命当中还没有找到真正的爱。And, and so then we need to pray and say, God bless my relationships. 就我们要向神祷告说，主啊，求你来祝福我生命中的的不同的关系。We need to say, pray, and say, Lord, I'm not a very loving person. 我们要跟神说，主啊，我并不是一个很充满爱的人。I don't know how to love. 我不知道怎么去爱。Help me. 帮助我。Change me. 改变我。Fill me with your love. 将你的爱浇灌在我的身上。Teach me how to love people and make friendship with people. 求你帮助我，指教我，让我知道如何去爱别人，如何去跟别人建立一个良好的关系。And so those are three key parts of the healing process. 所以在医治的过程当中，有这三个重要的部分。Now, how do we release our sorrow? 而我们应该要如何的去释放我们的悲痛呢 ？I think the best way to release sorrow is through tears. 我认为最好的方法就是透过眼泪。And、uh, you know, some people have really great sorrows in their heart. 有的人他们内心当中有那巨大的伤痛。And so they need to cry a lot of tears. 所以他们要流了很多很多的眼泪。I remember. Uh, my son-in-law, when he first became a Christian, 我记得我的女婿当他第一次接受主成为基督徒的时候 ，and、uh, he would come to church Sunday morning, and then during praise and worship, he would cry the whole time. 而当他来到教会的时候，每次在敬拜赞美当中，他都会流泪，他就会哭 ，because he had great sorrows that had been trapped in his heart. 因为在他的心中有那一个很巨大的伤痛被困在那个里面。And when the presence of the Lord comes down, you know the presence of the Lord comes down when we're worshiping God. 那当我们在敬拜的时候，神的同在降临在那个地方。And there's healing in the presence of God. 而在神的同在当中有医治。And then that presence of the Lord will cause you to cry. 而这样子的医治呢，会导致你开始流泪，开始哭。So if you come to church Sunday morning and We're worshiping the Lord, and you feel suddenly like crying. Cry. So, if you come to the Lord's Day, and in your worship, you feel like you want to cry, then cry. Don't be ashamed of your tears. 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 Don't be ashamed of your Uh, working in my heart and bringing comfort and healing to us. So, when we are in our tears, the Holy Spirit is working in our hearts and bringing comfort and healing to us. So, when we are in our tears, the Holy Spirit is working in our hearts and bringing comfort and healing to us. So, when we are in our tears, the Holy Spirit is working in our hearts and bringing comfort and healing to us. So, when we are in our tears, the Holy Spirit is working in our hearts and bringing comfort and healing to us. So, when we are in our tears, the Holy Spirit is working in our hearts and bringing comfort and healing to us. So, when we are in our tears, the Holy Spirit is working in our hearts and bringing comfort and healing to us. So, when we are in our tears, the Holy Spirit is working in our hearts and bringing com
通常，通常都是我们最爱的那些人。It's the people that are the most close to us。是我们生命当中最亲密的人。Like our mother, our father, our husband, our wife。或许是我们的父母、我们的伴侣、我们的孩子们。Our best friend。我们最好的朋友。It's the people that have that are closest to us that have the greatest power to hurt us。就是与我们最亲近、最亲密的人呢，他们有最大的那个力量，能够来伤害我们。And so then, when we get hurt through somebody close to us, we need to understand that we need to be honest about that. So, when we experience this kind of experience, we need to be honest about that. So, when we experience this kind of experience, we need to be honest about that. So, when we experience this kind of experience, we need to be honest about that. So, when we experience this kind of experience, we need to be honest about that. So, when we experience this kind of experience, we need to be honest about that. So, when we experience this kind of experience, 因为或许我们的父母有时候在看我们的时候，他们的眼神是带着那个不认同的感觉。They can be very disapproving by always criticizing and saying negative things to us。或许他们有不很多很多的纠正，很多的批评，他们透过这样负面不认同的话，才对我们生命造成伤害。But they almost never say anything positive。而他们几乎都没有讲任何正面的。Uh, parents have to correct their children and criticize them. 是的，的确，我们父身为父母亲的，我们必须要对我们的孩子呃提出纠正。But we must always balance our correction with praise and、uh, giving compliments. 可是，在我们对他们提出指正、提出不同的批评的时候，我们一定要记得去平衡这两者。我们一定要给他们很多的赞美、很多的鼓励。But we can have a very negative parent. 可是，也许我们就是有一个很冲、很负面的父母。So、they're constantly saying negative things to us。所以他们不断不断的一直在跟我们讲那负面的话。They notice every time we do something wrong。每次我们做什么事情错了。But when we do something good or right, they don't notice。当我们做错的时候，他们很快的指正我们。可是当我们做对事情的时候，他们觉得理所当然。They almost never praise us. They almost never give us any、uh, compliment. 他们几乎没有对我们生命中有很多正面鼓励啊、激励的言语。And, and so,、uh, if my parent is like that, then I'm getting hurt by my parent. 可是，如果我的父母亲是这样的话，那我在生命中从他们所领受的伤害就很多。I, I believe each child is born into the world with an empty heart with no love. 我相信每一个新生儿来到这世上的时候，他们的心是空的，是是有一个空洞的，是没有爱的。So when we're born into the world, our heart is empty. 所以当我们来到这世上的时候，我们的心是空的。There's no love in our heart. 在我们内心当中是没有爱。And it's a great responsibility of both mom and dad to fill up our heart with their love. 因此呢，身为父母的呃父母，他们有很大很大的一个责任，就是要在我们的内心当中填满了爱。But、uh, we can grow up with parents, and、uh, we know they love us. But in our heart, we do not experience love through our parent. 所以，也许在我们成长过程当中，我们知道理性上面，我们知道我们父母亲爱我们，可是，在我们内心中却没有经历过这样子的爱。So if I asked you, I said,、uh, "Do you know that your parent loved you?" And you'd say, "Yeah, yeah, I know that." 所以，如果我问你说，哎，你知道你的父母亲很爱你吗？说，哎呀呀呀，我我知道，我明白。But the question is not about what you know. 可是问题不在你到底知道什么。The question is about what you feel in your heart. 问题的主要是在于你的心中到底感受到什么。So in my mind, I can know that my mom or dad loved me, but in my heart, I may not feel loved by them. 所以在我的理智当中，也许我知道我的父母亲爱我，可是在我内心当中，我却没有经历、没有体验过这样子的感受。I may have deep hurts and sorrows in my heart from mom or dad. 也许我有内心当中呃很大的伤痛是来自于我的父母亲。And the sorrow in the heart never hurt,、uh, it never finds healing。而这样子的伤痛却从来没有寻找过呃医治。And so if we grow up in a home and neither mom or dad are very loving, then we grow up with an empty heart。所以如果我们成长的是的背景当中，我们的父母亲并不是那个很充满爱的父母亲。那我们成长到成人，我们的内心还是一样是空的。在我们里面并没有多少的爱。Then when we have our own family and we get married， 而当我们呃建立了我们属于我们自己的家庭的时候 ，we do not have much love to give our husband or wife or children。我们对我们的伴侣、对我们的孩孩子们，我们也没有很多的爱能够给他们。Now of course we come to Jesus and、uh, we become Christian。而当然，当我们来到耶稣面前，我们成为基督徒的时候 ，And Jesus comes and He lives in us, our heart, and He gives us gifts of love. 
。而当耶稣住在我们内心当中的时候，他给我们这个爱的礼物。But if I grow up in a family that is very dysfunctional， 可是如果我生长在一个不健全的家庭当中时 ，and there's not much love in that house， 而在整个家庭当中并没有很多的爱 ，and I have an empty heart， 我一个很空洞的心。Then I need to pray a lot to God and ask Him to fill my empty heart with His love. 因此，我就必须要向神祷告，求神的爱来填满我的心。We have to ask for it. 我们必须要为这件事情来祷告。We have to pray about it. 我们必须要为这件事代求。And it should be our most important prayer. 这这应该是我们生命当中最重要的一个祷告。Because nobody really knows how to love. 因为没有一个人真正的明白如何的去爱。Oh my God knows how to love. 只有神，只有上帝知道如何去爱。And, and so then we need God's love. 所以我们需要上帝的爱。And so we should be constantly praying and saying, Lord, I need more of your love. 所以我们应该要不断不断持续的祷告，说主啊主啊，我需要更多更多你的爱。I still don't have enough of your love. 我还是不够，我生命中还是不够有你的爱。And I still haven't learned how to love yet. 我还没有学会如何的去爱人。Teach me how to love. 求你指教我，让我知道如何的去爱人。Give me more. I want more. 给我更多更多，我需要更多。You know, we usually we say greed is a bad thing, but there's one way that greed is good. 我们通常会说贪心、贪婪是一个不好的事情，可是有的时候它是好的。God wants us to be greedy for more and more of His love. 神要我们有一个这个神圣的不满足感，让我们要更多更多的呼求他。And we always say, Lord, it's still not enough. I want more. 因此，我们要不断向神说，主啊，不够，不够，我要更多的有你。And God always has more to give us. 而神他有更多更多的要给你。And so,、uh, but if we grow up in this kind of home, then we get deeply hurt. 可可是，如果我们生长在这样一个不健全的家庭当中的时候，我们生命中有很多的伤害。Uh, sometimes we get abused by mom or dad or some other person. 有的时候我们是遭受到呃我们周遭的旁边的人或者我们父母亲的一些戏虐一些的不不平等的待遇。And、uh, so then when we get hurt after that we always get angry. 所以在我们领遭受到这样子伤害之后呢，我们开始将这个悲悲伤转为愤怒。Did you know that、uh, anger always goes together with strong grief? 你知道吗？其实愤怒跟那个很巨大的伤痛几乎是。是两者是并存的。If you have strong sorrow in your heart, then you will also have a lot of anger and bitterness. 如果你的生命当中有那很巨大的悲痛的话，那几乎几乎你都会一定会有那巨大的呃的愤怒在你的生命中。And so then, when we're children、uh, growing up in this home, we can、uh, have also parents that do not let us have emotion, or they won't let us feel. 而有的时候，我们生长的家庭当中呢，我们父母亲他不愿意我们小孩子有一个呃，好像有情感。And so in the home, there's a rule, and the rule says keep all your sorrow a secret. 所以在家里面有一个不成文的规定，这规定就是说，如果你生命当中有什么不愉快，有什么伤痛的话，你就留留给你自己吧，我们不想知道。Don't talk to mom or dad. 不要不要跟我们讲。They don't understand. 我们不想了解。Maybe they'll just get upset. 也许你讲了，我们身为父母亲，我们只是觉得很生气而已。And so then、uh, you have to keep all your emotions inside. 所以你学着如何将你所有的情感都锁在你的内心。And、uh, you should not bother anybody with your bad emotion. 不要把你那个不好的情绪去影响、去麻烦别人。And、uh, you can't trust people with the secret sorrows in your heart. 而你没有办法信任别人，然后把这样子的一个秘密告诉他。And so、uh, we could grow up in this home, and then we learn this bad habit of always suppressing our emotion. 所以在这样子成长环境当中，我们学习到如何的去压制、去压抑我们的情感。If you always suppress your sorrow, then you will also suppress all your love and all your emotions. 可是当你一直不断的压抑你生命中的悲痛的时候，其实同时间你也将你的爱。将你的关心、你的怜悯也都压抑住了。And, and so,、uh, in, in this home, where where we learn from our parents, because they also do the same thing, they hide their bad emotions, they suppress their bad emotions also. 而在这样子的家庭环境当中，我们从我们的父母当中那边学习了，因为他们也是跟我们一样，他们压抑他们自己的情感。And so then, also, it's an important to understand that、uh, releasing sorrow is a process that takes time. 而我们也必须要了解，这样释放呃我们的伤痛呢，它是需要时间的。And also, usually, 
forgiving is a process that takes time. 而饶恕也是一个需要时间的过程。And、uh, a lot of times we think we forgive, but our our forgiveness is not complete. 有时候我们以为我们已经饶恕原谅了，可是却不是完全的。And so、uh, maybe I forgave、uh, my mom or dad or husband or wife forty percent. 所以也许我原谅了父母亲，原谅我的伴侣，大概四四十趴左右吧。And、uh, but I think my forgiveness is a hundred percent. 可是我却以为我已经完全的饶恕他了。But the truth is, I still have maybe sixty percent of that old anger and bitterness inside of me. 可是真实的却是在我们内心当中还有那剩余的六十趴的伤痛在我们生命中。And so then, part of my problem is there. There's something that I'm still holding on to. I won't let go of that thing. 所以我有一个问题，就是说有有一个东西我紧紧的抓住，然后我不愿意放手。It's just like、uh, I remember ministering up at、uh, Miaoli Prayer Mountain. Miaoli Prayer Mountain. Oh, I once was in a mountain. There was a mountain. It was a prayer mountain, anyway. Oh, a prayer mountain. And、uh, there was a lady that came for special prayer. Ah, there was a sister who came to my face and she wanted me to pray for her. She said, "I've been in this terrible depression for 12 years." She said, "I've been in this terrible depression for 12 years." She said, "I've been in this terrible depression for 12 years." She said, "I've been in this terrible depression for 12 years." And、uh, so then I asked her a question. So I asked her a question. I said, "Well, what terrible thing happened to you 12 years ago?" I said, "Well, what terrible thing happened to you 12 years ago?" I said, "Well, what terrible thing happened to you 12 years ago?" I said, "Well, what terrible thing happened to you 12 years ago?" I said, "Well, what terrible thing happened to you 12 years ago?" I said, "Well, what terrible thing happened to you 12 years ago?" I said, "Well, what terrible thing He fell in love with me. He also loved me. Then, the other young man also loved me. And then we got engaged, and we were going to get married. Then we got engaged, and we were going to get married. And then something bad happened, and she said, "I, I don't understand what happened." Then she said, "I 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 don't understand And he broke my heart. Then 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 he
所以首先呢，要明白我们的内心呢是需要时间的。It takes time for me to understand the hurts inside of me. 是，我们要完全的理解我们内心当中的伤痛呢是需要时间的。You know, uh, our own hearts are very difficult things to understand. 你知道吗？我们的内心是一个很难理解的一个一个东西。But if you pray to God, God will reveal your own heart to you. 可是如果你向神祷告呢，神会他会彰显你的心，让你更多的明白。And then it takes time to let go of things, bad things that have happened in our past. 而我们要放掉那些在我们过去当中不好的经历呢，也是需要时间的。It takes time to grieve through all of our old hurts. 要为过去所有旧的、过去曾经发生的伤痛感到悲哀、感到悲痛呢，是需要时间的。It takes time to restore broken relationships in our past. 我们要恢复，我们要重建与他人之间破碎的关系，也是需要时间的。If you've been deeply hurt in a relationship, that hurt is not going to go away instantly. 如果你曾经在关系当中呢，你的生命遭受到很大的伤痛，这个伤痛不会瞬间就不见了。And you're not going to instantly re- restore your relationship with that person because it takes time to do that. 你也不可能与那伤害你的人呢，瞬间就能够建立一个健全美好的关系。And then it takes time to restore and build a new attitude of love towards that person. 那对于这些曾经伤害、曾经背叛我们的人呢，我们要对他们重新恢复、重新的建造一个爱的关系、爱的态度呢，也是需要时间的。That's especially true if that person has betrayed us in some way. 特别是如果这个人呢，他曾经背叛过我们。You know. A betrayal is a very serious problem in relationships today. You know, man, 背叛在在即使在现今的很多的关系当中，背叛也是一个很严重的一件事情。And and Jesus said, many in the last days, many will betray one another. 然后耶稣耶稣曾经说，他在末世呢，人会彼此的互相的增进，彼此的背叛。And then because of that betrayal, the the love of many people will become cold. 也因为这样的背叛，所以很多人跟人之间那个爱呢，就开始变得冷淡，变得冰冷。And, and so betrayal, it's a great problem in relationships today. 所以即使在今天当中，呃，背叛是关系当中一个很很很大的危机。And so,、uh, God wants you to remember some.、Uh, but anyway, we have to do all of these things. And when we've done all these things, then we go through the、uh, grieving process. 所以我们一定要记得，我们一定要完成了刚刚我们之前所描述的不同的步骤，这样我们内心的伤痛才会得到完全的释放。And also the process of forgiving that person. 然后这是一个去原谅、去饶恕的一个过程。Or it can be a process of forgiving me and accepting me just the way I am. 或许这个过程是我要原谅，我要去接受我自己，照着我自己的本相。You know, sometimes we have a lot of bitterness against ourselves. 你知道，有时候我们对我们自己内心当中有很多很多的苦毒。Because we failed. Because we made some big mistake. 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 Because we made some 可是神说，你来到他面前，将你自己的罪带到他面前。Then accept his forgiveness. 然后接受我的饶恕。Accept his love for you. 接受我要给你的爱。And forgive yourself. 然后要原谅你自己。Accept yourself the way you are. 就以你自己的本相，要接受、接纳你自己。Stop criticizing yourself so much. 不要再批评、论断你自己。Stop condemning yourself all the time. 不要总是的指责你自己。Make a promise right now. And, and the promise is, Lord, I'm going to forgive myself. And this promise says, Lord, I'm going to forgive myself. I'm going to accept myself right now, just the way I am. I'm going to accept myself right now, just the way I am. I'm going to stop condemning myself all the time. I'm going to stop condemning myself all the time. I'm going to stop condemning myself all the time. I'm going to stop condemning myself all the time. I'm going to stop condemning myself all the time. I'm going to stop Uh, Jesus said something wonderful in John 14:18. 在约翰福音第十四章十八节 ，He said, "I will not leave you comfortless." 他说，我不撇下你。I will not leave you comfortless. 
，中文是中文的翻译是说我不撇下你为孤儿，可是在英文是说我不会让你生命中没有安慰。Yes. 我不会让你生命中没有安慰，失去了这个安慰。I will come to you. 我必到你们这里来。I will come to you. 我会来到你们这里。I'm able to comfort you. I'm able to bring healing in your life. 我能够医治你，我能够在你生命中带来安慰，我能够带来医治。And so then I come to the conclusion of my sermon this morning. 因此我们今天要以这个为我们的结论。Grieving is an important part of the healing process for every person. 呃，在我们要获，在我们要寻求到这样子的医治的时候，这个悲痛的过程是一个很重要的一部分。Any time in your life when you get hurt or you have a lot of sorrow， 在你的生命当中，你遭遇到不同的伤痛的时候 ，you must immediately release that sorrow through tears。你必须要学习着马上的释放这样子的压力，这样子的悲痛。And forgive。然后饶恕。And find love。然后找到爱。And、uh, if you have to cry for a whole month。Cry for a whole month. It's okay. 如果你必须要流泪哭一整个月，那就哭一整个月吧。Accept all that pain that comes from sorrow. Accept it. 你要接受这生命当中所来的这样子的伤痛。Because remember the promise we started off with today. 要记得上帝的应许。It said the promise to you today is blessed are those who mourn. Because they or you will be comforted. You know, we have to remember in our first verse of the Bible, God said the promise of comfort. He said, "Pain and sorrow will be comforted because they will be comforted." God wants to comfort you today. God wants to bring comfort to 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 you today. God wants to bring comfort 或许你今天来到这个地方，你生命当中有很多很多的悲痛。It does not go away. 而这个悲痛它并没有，并没有离离你而去。You have a lot of hurt. 你在生命当中有许多的伤害。And there's no healing. 和你找不到医治。<笑> Today God wants to come and comfort you. 今天神他想要来，他想要医治你。Today there's somebody you need to forgive. 也许生命当中有人是你必须要去原谅的。Heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer today. 天父，我们以祷告来到你面前。We bring our hearts to you. 我们将我们的内心完全的献上。We bring all our sorrow and our hurts to you. 我们也将我们生命中所有的伤痛、所有的悲伤带到你面前。Father, help us to understand our heart. 天父，求你帮助我们，让我们明白我们的内心。Show our sorrow, reveal our sorrows to us. 你彰显我们内心当中的不满，我们的内心当中的悲痛。Help us to understand roots of bitterness that are in our heart. 帮助我们理解我们内心当中那苦毒的根源。Reveal them to us. 求你彰显他们，让我们能够明白。And then today we confess that as a sin to you. 而今天我们来到你面前，我们向你认罪。Forgive us for our bitterness. 主啊，求你原谅原谅我们的苦毒。And give us your grace. 主啊，求你来原谅我们，去忽略你的恩典。Help us to forgive those who who have hurt us. 求你帮助我们，能够去饶恕那些曾经伤害过我们的人。Help us to forgive ourselves. 求你帮助我们，让我们能够原谅我们自己。Help us to do what we cannot do. 求你帮助我们，让我们能够成就那我们没我们人手无法做的事情。Give us your grace. 求你给我们恩典。Bring healing to our heart today. 求你带我们的内心当中带来医治。Let your presence come on us this morning. 主啊，求你的同在现在就降临在我们当中。主啊，你那医治的同在。Touch our heart today. 求你来触摸我们的内心。In Jesus' name, I pray. 奉耶稣的名祷告。Amen. Amen. And you can't be seated. 请坐 Please prepare our hearts for tithes and offerings. The offertory music will be given by Salt and Light and Rock Worship Team with the song "Yesu Fuho."
Pastor Sandra will lead us in offertory prayer. Let us pray. Dear Father God, we thank you for this beautiful morning, and we thank you for sending your humble servants, Reverend Clark, to share this message. May, may you speak us with your words, and may this, um, this message keep uh, stirring our hearts so that the, the, all the week, we can think about, think over the words again and again and make a change our life and change our heart. So, and the Lord, please reveal all the root of bitterness in our hearts and reveal all the grief or all the hidden emotions that we don't know. And give us strength so we can confess to you and we can, go, we can come before you and tell you all the deep, all the deepest feeling in our hearts because we know that you love us and we feel safe in your love and we safe in the love of blood Jesus uh, in the love of Jesus blood thank you lord we thank you for this morning and we dedicate a little bit um, offering to you because you give us so so much thank you lord in Jesus name we pray Amen. please stand as we sing doxology new life and the benediction will be given by Rick Clark afterwards. Let's pray. Father, we pray that your wonderful heavenly 
that the love of the heavenly Father, 主愿你天父的慈爱 ，and the blessed grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, 主耶稣基督的恩典 ，and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, 和圣灵的同在 ，may come and abide and remain in our hearts. 感动与交通与我们每个人同在 ，and in Jesus' name we pray. 奉耶稣的名祷告 ，Amen. Amen.